Welcome to your guide to Kara for Waves. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through how to open up my Studio Rack preset, as well as use all of the controls to mix your lead vocals. If you're not familiar with Studio Rack, it's a free plugin included with everybody's account on waves.com. And it's a very handy shortcut to open up a whole chain of Waves plugins, like my vocal chain, with one simple file. I like to load up the Waves Studio Rack after my tuning plugin of choice, and when you look it up, Waves gives you two options, mono or mono to stereo. If you're gonna be using this for just the dry processing and not do any of the reverb effects, choose mono. But if you plan on having a wet vocal, I highly recommend using the mono to stereo, which is what I'm going to use today. Now the next step is to load up the XPS file that you downloaded and unzipped from imcare.com. Click load, open preset file, go to your XPS file, hit open, and in just a couple of seconds, your entire finished chain is loaded. Now, before we get started, let's take a listen at what this is doing on a raw vocal. You pull me in shallow eyes, and now I'm falling deeper. Let's turn Studio Rack on. You wanted me to sacrifice, and I was over eager. Now, let's turn it off. Let's go through all of these knobs and talk a little bit about what they do. The first adjustment you saw me controlling was the final output gain. This is something that you can increase or reduce as you mix. The first knob here is low cut. This is connected to your EQ, and when you turn it, it adjusts the frequency of the filter. I like to keep it at 100 for female voices and around 90 to 80 for male voices. The next knob that we have is compression, and this is my favorite knob for using on just a dry vocal chain. You pull me in with shallow eyes, and now I'm falling deeper. You wanted me to sacrifice, and I was over eager. I always find just in the middle to be the sweet spot. Next, we have the brightness knob, and this does exactly what it sounds like. Increases the presence of the top end. You pull me in with shallow eyes, and now I'm falling deeper. Usually with vocals, I'm trying to increase the brightness and not reduce it. So I have it so you can only push it up. It's a very fun and simple knob to use. Next, we have warm. This is the same concept, but focusing on the low end. You wanted me to sacrifice, and I was over eager. Yeah, you told me I was your only lover. You're such a liar. What about the others? Next, we have delay. Let's hear it on our verse. You pull me in with shallow eyes. Now I'm falling deeper. And if you open up the parallel split when you wiggle the knob, you'll see it's controlling the volume of this parallel chain. Sometimes you'll want to switch that to a half note delay or an eighth note delay, depending on the song. The next effect we have is a slap delay. As you can see, it's controlling this row of plugins right here, adding width and space to the vocal. You pull me in with shallow eyes, and now I'm falling deeper. Next, we have reverb. Clean and spacious reverb that you can adjust right here with the R-verb plugin on the second to last row. And finally, we have our special effects. This is one of my favorite effects, a pitched up vocal going into reverb. You can see we're controlling the volume of it right here with our effects, and we have a sound shifter pitch going into a reverb. 
If you want to maybe add more tail to it, you can increase the time of it here. Or maybe you want to pitch down vocal. You can control the sound shifter and turn off the reverb. But for this song, I like the pitched up sound, so we're going to put that back to the way it was. And there you have all eight macro controls inside of Kara for Waves. And with it. So there you have it, my guide to Cara for waves. Check out my other products at IamCara.com and I'll catch you guys next time in another tutorial.